My name is Thomas Steck. Um, I live in Cluny Valley uh, County Limerick, and my farm is Summerhill Natural Dairy Farm. It's 130 acres of grassland with total dairy, 67 cows milking, and I use natural farming, Cree natural farming, as my basis to improve my soil. I took over the farm in 2012. It was production, mostly production, and intensification really I was at odds ends and what way I was going basically it was more money in and less money out so I just had a look and thought to myself that there must be another way. Korea natural farming is that we attend to the microbial life of the soil um, by using uh, natural inputs from your own farm basically by fermentation and gathering microbes. But then I use other inputs, and other inputs would be calcium, calcium phosphate, nitrogen, which is all made from inside my own door. So that's the basis of um, a liquid IMO, which is sprayed out in the land every 36 hours. This is basically my inputs. Um, well, some of them. Um, this is my OHN, which I am making at the moment. Um, it takes three months to make, and actually today is my turf, my third extraction. This uh, this is biochar um, sunflowers. It's biochar, so it's cooked without um, oxygen in a pot. And basically, you mix that ten times um, with water and leave for maybe eight to ten days, and that will give you potassium. So basically, all this is for is all my inputs that go into my brewer. This has been brewing for 36 hours. It'll be ready tonight and I, after my cows or maybe later on I will spray it out on the land where the cows have been last night. So what's going to come out of it is, um, I suppose, it, it's food for my biology in the soil, basically. Um, it has it has, it has microbes, um, different, different fungi in it um, that will improve my soil and I will spray that out tonight because I spray at night time because it gives the um, microbes a chance it's less light and they can work all night. In natural farming um, we believe the gut is the key as well um, plus the soil and the animals gut so basically what I'm doing here is these are February March calves um, I'm still feeding them their milk, raw milk from the cows at the moment. They get a mixture in the milk of an FPJ of plant juice, maybe a nettle or a dock, a small drop, the OHN which is an anti pathogen and that just gets small drops into their milk as they go. They're, they're the best calves I have ever had. They get milk morning and evening and they are this year's calves. When you have the cow with natural farming, you have her as an input as well, so she's feeding the biology as well. So this got, this got a liquid IMO, and it got slurry as well. This, this field is where everything changed for me in 2018. I, I knew I had to do something. I ploughed, receded it, and um, it was actually a desert for six weeks of drought that packed in, and I knew I had to go a different direction. I knew there was more to farming than the way that I was doing it. Um, so it's kind of ironic that we're back here with a herd of cows that are all lying down chewing the cud. You know, they're, they're happy, they're content. And, and basically the soil is producing a way more nutritious grass. The proof is in the pudding. Uh, healthy soil, healthy animal, healthy humans. And that's, that's it. I found my calling in what I do now. I think in the modern system people get dis disconnected from the animal number one and the soil and the land. We, um, where now I am more connected in with the soil and the animal and I suppose nature and once you have that cycle and in, li in natural farming you have the cow as an input as I said so everything, everything is in balance and that's the key. When your soil is in balance everything is good from fungi and bacteria. When I was conventional, I believed everyone with a shirt and tie coming into my yard. Um, well, you know, they were always selling you a product, but what I've realized is that everything we have and that we need is inside our own farm. No cost, which is the key. It, it, if you learn the basics, that's all you need to know, because you'll see the re rewards in the health of your animals and the milk that you produce at a very, very 
very smart cost.